हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एन इश्यू व्हिच इज रिगार्डिंग द एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ रिट पिटिशंस बाय द हाई कोर्ट्स इन रिलेशन टू सेक्शन 148 नोटिसेस द जनरल प्रिंसिपल फॉर एडमिटिंग द रिट इज दैट द कोर्ट्स कैन नॉट एग्जामिन और डू नॉट एग्जामिन द एडिक्वेसी और द सफिशिएंसी ऑफ द रीजंस for reopening the cases but in the present case the issue before the court was that that whether the court can examine the relevancy of the reasons for reopening the case the distinction between the adequacy and relevance is that if the reasons for opening the case are not relevant to the assc at all so in that case whether the court has power to entertain or the jurisdiction to entertain the writ petitions of the assc this issue has been taken by honorable bombay high court in the case of karan maheshwari versus assistant commissioner of income tax and others and this case has been reported in 465 itr at page number 232 the matter has been decided by honorable bombay high court and the date of the judgment is 8th march 2024 this is a very latest judgment and the matter relates to the notice under section 148 related to the assessment year 1617 in the present case the assessing officer based on the information on inside portal that the assessee was a beneficiary of dividend from a mutual fund alleged to have been involved in a scam and the assessee has also incurred short term capital loss the assessee asked for the information on the basis of which this show cause notice was issued to the assessee but that was not provided to the assessee so the assessee filed a writ petition against the notice under section 148 by saying that in the present case the information is not relevant for reopening my case and the information has not been provided to me also when this matter was heard by the bombay high court the bombay high court said that in the present case the assessing officer has issued the notice under section 148 to the assessee on the basis of a scam which is there in the mutual fund and in the present case the assessee is a victim of alleged fraud of mutual fund and again the assessee has been made victimized by the assessing officer by issuing the notice under section 148 the court said that there was nothing to indicate that the assessee was part of the alleged scam of the mutual fund the court said that the assessee in the present case is not a distributor but is only a client of the mutual fund the court said that the allegation that the assessee claimed fictitious short term capital loss in the present case is without any basis the court said that the assessee invested in the mutual fund based on the public announcement the court said that the receipt of dividend and short term capital loss cannot be held against the assessee it is not the prerogative of the assessing officer that in which transactions the assessee has to engage himself or not the court said that the allegations in the present case didn't implicate the assessee in any manner and the court also said that not every material howsoever vague indefinite or distant remote and far fetched which would suggest escapement of income the court said that there should be some nexus between the reasons recorded by the assessing officer and the belief that the income has escaped assessment so in the present case based on the facts and circumstances that some scam has uh, has occurred in some mutual fund on that basis it cannot be used against the assessee without any proof that the assessee is engaged in that scam or any information that the assessee is involved in that scam the notice under section 148 cannot be issued to the assessee so the court quashed the notice under section 148 on the basis of relevancy of reasons at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is 
Karan Maheshwari versus Assistant Commissioner of Income Tax and Others, and this case has been reported in 465 ITR at page number 232. The matter has been decided by Honorable Bombay High Court, and the date of the judgment is 8th March 2024.